Duque against Juan Gonzalez got him with the slider in the second. Next batter, Will the thrill, and the thrill is gone with the hook. Let's see, we've seen slider, we've seen hook, we've seen fastball. Punching out punch, four Ks through two for Orlando Hernandez. Third inning, Mike Sims. Five Ks through three, and those aren't blunts he's puffing out there. Senior Smoke. Apologies to Juan Berenguer. Rough night for Gonzalez. Whiffs at the slider again. Six strikeout for El Duque. Two batters later, bases juice. This is Texas' biggest threat of the night thus far. El Duque putting the K into El Duque. Yankees up 2-0. It's a 42nd straight game, by the way. They've had a lead. Rick Helling had a terrific night as well. Jorge Posada smokes one. Mark McLemore is there. Eight innings, three hits, two earned for Helling. But back to Juan. Gone. Third straight K for the Major League RBI leader. Gonzalez 0 for 3 with a walk on the night. Del Duque had 11 Ks. Top 8, McLemore up now. And that, sit on it, Fozzi. Number 13 on the night. A new Yankee rookie record for strikeouts. El Duque came out after facing two in the night, but still went eight and a third. Two hits in those 13 Ks. Toronto top of the first, Woody Williams against Tim Salmon. Garrett Anderson on first. Alex Gonzalez getting it done. And... Not quite turning the double play, but a terrific stop there. Top seven, now one out. Runners on first and second. Pinch hitter Todd Green gets one past Jose Cruz Jr. Here comes Matt Wahlbeck. Here comes Gary DeSarcina. Pinch hit two-run double for Green, who's, who's hitting a cool 750 since coming back with Anaheim. Angels up 3-2. Bottom eight, two out. Jose Cruz Jr., 077 with the bases juiced. A little better now. A knock to right. Sean Green and Canseco would score. Carlos Delgado's out at third. Cruz, 14 for 39 since coming back up from Syracuse. It's 4-3 Toronto. Top nine, two out. Craig Shipley at the plate. Former Alabama star fouls one down the way. Delgado. Delgado up. Spin over. Yamo be there. Delgado was named team captain on Thursday, and I think we all see why. Dan Plezak finishing things up against Randy Velarde, and Toronto wins it by a count of four to three. So the Angels can't take advantage of Deep Atlanta. Glavin in his 1.83 ERA on the road. Gets Steve Finley to line out to Walt Weiss. Nice grab, Walt. That's in the bottom of the first. Next batter, Greg Vaughn. Vaughn chilling just a little bit too hard. One of four strikeouts for Glavin. He said, if I don't pitch my game, they're going to score some runs. Runner on first after a walk. Bottom four, Glavin facing Finley. No outs. Finley up the middle to Weiss. Walt, Carolina man, to Graffinino, to Galarraga. 6-4, three double play. Glavin with a no-hitter through five. Bottom six, Carlos Hernandez, a 270 hitter. Break me off a little something-something, Carlos, and he broke up a no-hitter. Danny Batista, 2 deep, drops in for the first hit that Glavin allowed. Top seven, Chipper, slow your roll, kid. Chip, slow your roll. His 29th home run for Chipper Jones. In his last six games on this road trip, 14 for 25, three homers, nine RBI. Chipper says usually you only have a couple of weeks of season like this. Bottom nine, Steve Finley pops it up. Tom Glavin, 6'1", 185. Andres Galarraga, 6'3", 235. Who do you think's going to get the better of this one? <laughs> Glavin, though, still got his sixth career to him. Johnson on first, Adrian Beltre. Ah, holla at a brother. Two-run shot, only his third home run of the year. He only has 13 RBI this year. He's only a 229 hitter, but as I said, he got a home run. Bottom five, 5-1 five Dodgers. Raul Mondesi fouled this pitch off his leg. Watch it again, right off his shin. He'd stay in the game, finishes that bat with the fly out, but later in the inning, limped into the training room. X-rays would be negative, but he did leave with a contusion. You know, Brian Bohannon did not register a single strikeout, but it's kind of like the basketball theory. A layup is as productive as 360-degree dunk. Of the 24 outs, Bohannon got 19 of them ground balls. Ryan Jackson, Edgar Renteria, Luis Castillo, all of them ground balls. Bohannon went eight innings, allowed four hits. For his career against Doc Gooden, and he'll help that out. Smoking one down the left field line. Davis, who had extended the streak by five games playing inside, said he was glad to be back outside. He's now hitting 28 straight after that double. Top eight now, it's 4 3 Indians. Men on the corners for Lenny Webster. Right back up the middle. Rich Becker would cruise in to score. Cal Ripken's going to go to third, but Webster gets greedy and he is toast. But Baltimore does tie the game at four. Bottom 11 now. Two on, one out for Richie Sexton against Pete Smith. He lines one up the middle. Pete snags it, makes the double play. Indians fail to score. O's turn. Top 12. Two on, nobody out. Rafael Palmero. He is a lumberjack, and he's okay. On the first pitch, his 37th of the year, and that's going to get it done for Baltimore. 7-4.
in 12 innings to final. Baltimore's bullpen gave up no runs. Todd Walker on first, the second Steinbach. leading hitter in the American Steinbach. League. Pedro Martinez going for his 16th win and getting some great There's defense. If you can do it, it ain't bragging. That was Darren Bragg taking one away from Terry Steinbach. Bottom four, it's 2-0. Darren Bragg now hitting. Come on and squeeze me. Oh, squeeze me like you do. Sox up 3-0. Jimmy Williams' strategy works. Top six is 7-2. Pedro should be cruising with that big lead in the six, but he cannot. David Ortiz smoking one to center. Matt Lawton and Terry Steinbach were aboard, and they would come off by scoring. Martinez, six and a third, six runs, ten hits. Twins would tie it up. Bottom of the seventh, same score. Mo Vaughn on second. Nomar drilling one off the wall. Vaughn would score. Nomar was three for four. Sox up 8-7. Top of the eighth beat Shorin came into pitch for the first time as a Red Sox. Donnie Sadler showing off. Oh, that's worth another peak. Sadler, terrific play with his back to the infield. And the Sox hang on to win it by a count of eight to seven. You saw the runner on second, two out. Phil Garner intentionally walks Craig Biggio, a 322 hitter, with an open base to face Ricky Gutierrez, a 274 hitter. After a double steal, strategy works. Gutierrez grounds out to end the inning. Garner had told his team they would not let Biggio beat them. Bottom four, similar situation. Two on, two out, open base. Walks Biggio intentionally again to get to Gutierrez with the bases loaded. This time, Ricky, man up, man up. Phil, bad move. Ricky clears the bases with a triple. He has a career high 36 RBI. He said later, I was just running around the bases screaming. It was just emotion. Top eight, Jeff Cirillo wants the umpire to check the ball, which in baseball lingo is like saying, hey, the pitcher's a cheater. Jose Lima didn't like it, had some words for Cirillo. Three pitches later, Cirillo grounds to Lima. Lima fired up. Does his Carlos Rick talk about something's wrong with my ball. Nothing wrong with my ball. You grew up inning two outs. Big brother Brett at the plate, Aaron on deck. Says, Aaron, I told him to get me up there. Well, Brett did. He got a base hit. Aaron's bat, and he flew out to left. Game and nine-game hitting streak done, said Aaron. It's not like it was a 29-game streak or anything. Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. I thought you wore your cups somewhere else. <laughs> Easy, Bottom big one, boy. Brett Boone facing Todd Van Poppel. Boone bringing it, doubles to left. His 33rd double of the year drives in Ed Taubensy and Jeffrey Hammond. Van Poppel gave up five runs in the first he left. Bottom four, Dimitri Young facing Jeff Tabaka. Bases loaded. Young trying to be a player. Jose Guillen a player hater. Then it looks like we just like rewind the videotape, but he step. was just showing off. He make it up for an 0 for 4 day at the plate. And then Kevin Young bigs up for his 23rd homer of the year. Two run shot. We're tied at five. Peter Arndt is not happy about giving up that homer, but they left him in the game. In the sixth, Luke Collier up. Two on, two out. Drills it to right. Reggie Sanders cannot make mm. the grab. Collier triples. Would score Freddie Garcia and Al Martin. Pirates take a 7-5 lead. Bottom nine, Ricardo Rincon on for the save. Jeffrey Hammonds looked at one. And then Jeffrey Hammonds, you know, Jeffrey's just chilling. Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey wanted to make sure that all those balls were in there. Jeffrey, they're all strikes. Pirates, 9-6, they sweep the series. Their bullpen goes 8.2 innings pitch, allowing just one run. 